everyone, today I'll be reviewing Selena part two just dropped today. So I actually really liked Selena part one. I thought the the way the part one was done was quite interesting, especially the family drama and how she became the singer she is she was in the that time frame i thought the idea at season one, part one was pretty interesting so i really enjoyed it but i did see many people didn't like part one so i don't imagine many people will be checking out selena part two since they did not like part one uh so I, I i thought part one was definitely very interesting and good however part two <laughs> so people who uh, complain in part one why there isn't enough selena those people will be happy in the part two because like there is a lot of selena in this one uh so this show uh, right like in, in this part two it picks up right after where it left off in the part one you see the selena she's heartbroken in the first couple of episodes she's like she is still like uh in her mind she's still deciding what to do with her relationship with the chris what like because she wants to be with him but her dad and all this thing all this complication she's trying to overcome all those things uh so i thought part two was extremely if i'm being honest i was really bored out of my mind uh because like especially first two episodes it's so boring you're like just sitting there thinking all these people who wanted to see Selena, now she's here and this actress, unfortunately, what is her name, Christian Serratos, uh, she's not very charming, I would say, because although I don't know how this singer was in real life, nobody knows, <laughs> but I don't think she was this much depressing or boring person because like obviously she was so famous singer, a lot of people loves her. I did see some of her singing, uh, I think this actress she just killed this character like like she killed it in like bad way she did not bring any her personal charm to this character because whenever you're portraying a character you do need to bring your personal touch bring it like the character to life that is where this actress feel may really when you watch it you're like oh she doesn't have any charmingness nothing she just so sad all the time on screen whenever she is on even on stage she looks still she looks sad shouldn't she be happy when she's singing entertaining people she should be because that's how singers are no matter how sad they are in real life they're always happy on stage she failed to do that on this show so when i was watching it i was like oh she's not very good in the show is she however her sister was she still very good in this show her sister character i thought she gave really good performance sister mom dad all of the other side characters they were really good i know a lot of people didn't like them but they were really good actors and actresses they gave believable performance in part one so we see her in part two unfortunately this actress she didn't <laughs> if you really start saying this but on the other hand if she like she's a bad cast obviously for this show i think i don't know i did see some of the stuff she has done she's not like i guess this is uh, this biopic require you to bring your personal charms you know sometimes some story they don't require you to bring your uh inner charm this one does and she didn't bring i guess uh that means uh, story wise is also very like boring here uh how it's ended like uh, you know they do show you how she died in this part so like which was so quick you're like oh she's just gone you know it was sad i guess but still less like this biopic is really overall is really boring however season one wasn't boring but season two part two is uh i don't know uh how people will react to it i, I don't imagine many people will be seeing this because like it since as many people didn't see part one why would they be seeing part two uh but i i was one of those people who were excited to see this uh her relationship with chris is uh, often i feel like like uh it's not uh flesh out enough for me in this show uh because this show is always focusing on like how her face she's thinking thinking all day she's just thinking <laughs> why she's thinking so much nobody know and also the production for this show is also very low quality when i was watching it i know it took place in 1970 but really when you watch it and the budget for this show felt very low all the times you see selena she just on her touring bus you know and her dad is like always washing the bus and doing something on the bus uh 
it's really fun to roll very low budget this show how much netflix gave to this show uh i don't know probably very less i think netflix wasn't uh hoping this will be huge hit which it wasn't many people were disappointed in season one i liked season one but here i am saying all this thing and all the many times i felt like wasn't she rich person like because she was singer making money often this show just showed her like she doesn't have like she this the way this show portrayed her and her family in the beginning of the season it was okay like they're poor but once she start singing doing tour shouldn't they have some money or have nice bus i don't know i felt like it was really very low budget when i was watching that's what i'm like i think is some some of people will feel it when you watch and that's my thought on this show uh i think part was really like boring <laughs> didn't like it that much anyway that was my thought on this show overall if you enjoyed my review don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave your comment what do you think about this and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and take care